See this Willie Mays card from 1952? Its price today is $375. Like these other bubblegum cards, it started in a pack of gum like this. This 1960 Mickey Mantle card fetches $45. This rookie card from 1963 includes Pete Rose. You know about Pete Rose. He broke Ty Cobb's record for career hits, and that makes Rose a legend, and it makes his card score. The rookie card is $450. A year ago, three fifty. Five years ago, ninety bucks. Ten years ago, twenty-five to thirty dollars. That's what these price guides say. Rose's nineteen eighty-five card has a price of a dollar fifty, and Frank DiMario has built three stores catering to fans who want Rose and other batting champs on their deck, so to speak. If you buy a thirty-five cent pack of gum and you happen to be fortunate enough to get one of the fifteen cards as a Pete Rose card, it costs you two cents. If you want to buy it across the counter, it costs you a dollar and a half. Don Mattingly, the Yankees batting champ last year, also scores in the cards. His 1984 rookie card is worth $5. But don't expect to sell your cards for those prices. Bent corners can strike out. There are rules for every investment. There's three things in buying real estate. Location, location, location. Three things in buying a baseball card is condition, condition, and condition. This is where real estate agents learn about the latest gimmicks. For instance, the company that shows houses with a television screen hooked up to a computer. Standing in Miami, these folks are checking out a house in Kansas. It's the video version of those bulky multiple listings books. Now, how do you think the agent got the room measurements? Maybe he used a gizmo like this. Okay, it's a handheld ultrasonic measuring device. Something out of Star Trek, you say? Well, it sends out a sonic signal that bounces off a wall or a ceiling. It works the same way some cameras set exposures. I measured across to the other wall over there. It says 20 set, uh, 26 feet, 0 inches. It also figures square feet, even cubic feet. Now to get into the house. Real estate companies might soon lock one of these things on your house. It's a key safe. The house key inside is released after the agent inserts a personal computer key or a personal electronic key. The device also keeps track of when each agent shows up at the house, sort of like a high-tech tattletale. If they fail to lock the door, turn off the lights, let the dog out, you have a record of it. Let's say you don't like calling your stockbroker every hour on the hour, but you want to keep track of your stocks. Andy Batkin's better idea is called Stock Phone. It works with a couple of computers linked to the stock exchange. You call it, tell the computer what stocks you want to know about, it answers. E A L 8 and 7 eighths. Up 3 eighths. The charge, 50 cents for the first three minutes. And the computers do more. Let's say you want to keep track of your warm-blooded investments or bets. Yep, another computer will link you with track results. And there's more. Uh, we also have a movie trivia game where you call 97 Movie uh, and play a movie trivia game where you answer three questions, again, using your touchstone phone. Uh, and if you answer all three questions correctly, you win uh, a prize for that particular day. Now, why didn't you think of that? Well, you should know that each setup like this costs about $60,000. The number of calls has been quadrupling this year, but the company known as the International Information Network expects to lose this year some $1 million.